Hi, this is Lisa, and I've got a short tutorial to show you how to edit these bookmarks to personalize them for your use. So it's a PowerPoint that you can do, but because I have fonts and formatting that might not work if it were just a regular PowerPoint, I have saved the image here as a picture. So if you look, I can move this all around, but it leaves those pet text boxes there. And so you can do that if you want to, you can move it around a little bit if you want to adjust the way that the um, shapes are. These are actually not text boxes, but shapes. And because of that, they are able to just be edited very simply. And in order to do it, all you do is click inside the box and highlight all of that text. You can type in anything you want. So if you're Little Free Library has a name. You can type in, you know, Emerald Street or whatever you want. Um, if the text gets too big to fit in the box, you can do a couple things. You can pull out the edges of it by clicking on the sides and dragging them out. If that's still not enough space, then what you can do is highlight the text and um, just by clicking inside the box and highlighting the text and then you can make the font size smaller by coming up here and making it a smaller font and seeing how big can you make the font and still have it be um, fitting inside of there. Now um, if you play around with stuff like that you might want to make sure that up here it shows the font as centered and then you can stretch the shape to the edges of the bookmark just by clicking on a corner and dragging it out there and then you'll know that the text will be centered in your bookmark. So again, you're just going to highlight in there and type in whatever text you want. So down here, it's designed to put in your charter number. So charter two, 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 whatever your charter number is. And you can put that in there. And um, again, it depends on what font you use, how it's going to fit in there because um, different fonts take up a different amount of space but again just highlight that text and um, make it the size that that you want and because we're looking at a PowerPoint it's the font looks smaller than it actually is going to be um, 16 point font even 14 point font is going to be really just fine for this and I'm just playing around with it um, although a 14 or 16 point font is going to look small in this situation, it's, it's actually really not going to be that small. Now I can see here though that even a, um, even a 16 point font is not going to be enough space to fit that in. So let's see, charter number, there we go should be a 12 point font will work just fine and that'll be big enough for people I spelled charter wrong that'll be um, big enough for people to read without difficulty if um, and you would just repeat that for the other boxes and you can have them say different things if you want if you don't want it there let's say your little free library doesn't have a name you can just click here and delete the box um, if you don't want your charter number on there or whatever, you can just delete the box. Just select it and click delete and there you go. And you can just print them like that. That's fine. Make sure that you delete the box because if you just print it the way that it is, these your text will show up. So that's the way that you do it. If you want to um, add color, my suggestion would be to actually just print it on colored paper. That's um, probably even cheaper than using colored ink but it also allows you to have um, a brighter color because the picture itself is black now because it is a picture you can make it a color by doing this double click on it and then under picture tools format um, over here you can change the color of it there so it'll change it um, here I can make it do that I could make it do this I could make it do any of the color choices here so I can make them all green if you do that my suggestion would be that you should change the text as well so again the way that I changed the color of it was to click here where it says format now if you have a different version of PowerPoint it might look slightly different but not too different it still should be under format um, you're formatting the picture 
and then selecting the color. So again, I could make it blue, I could make it purple. It doesn't have a ton of co color choices, but there are some. And so you could add color that way as well. Again, I would recommend changing the text color to match. Um, and that's it. I hope that you are able to do it without difficulty. This same procedure will work no matter what the bookmarks look like. It's just a matter of editing the text box within the bookmark. Take care and happy little free library.